I'm going to take a minute to program a schedule for the Arlo camera system. This is the updated uh, interface that you get when you go to arlo.netgear.com and you log in. It's been my experience, it's so much faster and easier and more accurate to do this on a computer than on the mobile device simply because you it's it's just a little bit too difficult to to set up although you can set it up on a mobile uh, i've got a three camera system um, we have a kitchen front door and a driveway uh, the kitchen is essentially we're using it kind of like a nanny cam we've got three generations living in the house so it made sense the batteries just died hence getting me back uh, and i did a full update to Arlo so now I'm redoing the schedule and we got a front door and a driveway uh, however the schedule was in fact changed so first thing I did is I went through and I changed the name uh, to be just house and I've got the cameras added um, but when you're doing the schedule the basic schedule that comes with it when you first sign is something like this it's just armed or not armed well, that's not really getting what we want. We want a nighttime mode um, and etc. It's still a little bit of a difficult concept. Um, the, the features that you have to do to get more than one thing to run on the same mode, uh, some of the settings are hidden. So I'm going to make a nighttime mode. Let's call it night. And you have to do one camera first, which is not the way it used to be, but I'm going to set the driveway camera and at night, oh, I don't know, set it to whatever you want, but I'll just set it to 20 for now. So it'll start recording on driveway camera when it senses motion on driveway camera. You can set this to record on everything, but that doesn't do much for me because the cameras are facing different directions. So then I'm going to record video. I don't really want to get nighttime notifications, um, but it will record. So then we finish. Now this is where things get a little bit complex and it can be a little confusing because you're going to say, well, I want to record more than one thing on night mode because you can only run one mode at a time. So if I'm running night mode and it's only got one camera you would think well i'm going to set this up to record here and you can but then if it's if it triggers from driveway it'll then record driveway camera and then from in my instance front door camera i don't want that i want front door camera to record if front door gets triggered and driveway to get triggered if driveway get um motion sensor is triggered so you actually have to save it then come back and hit this little uh, arrow here. Then you have to add another rule. This is what most people want to do. So now I want to add front door when motion is detected. Um, and again, I'll change these later. I'll just do it for the video. 20%. Then turn on front door. Record 20 seconds. Save. Next, I don't want to push, so then it finished. Now on the rule called night, I have if front door, then record if, um, oh, did I hit the same one twice? No, this is the same rule. This is, again, I'm doing it again and it's still complex. So it's added an additional rule onto the mode. Okay, so front door, if it's motion is detected, then it records for you know whatever time now I save and you look at it so now it's got night mode it's got two rules that are part of this so um, I'm gonna add a third rule for kitchen motion I'm gonna set it really low because it's super sensitive inside uh, so then record kitchen Again, 20 seconds. Again, I might change these later, but. So it is pretty flexible in terms of what you can do. Now, here's where it gets a little, again, confusing because it's like, now what? Well, you just have to click back. Now, I can run night. If I click night, it just runs. This is it. 
you have to embed it into the schedule. So I want to add night, midnight to 6 a.m. And then for winter, um, you know, I'll do 6 p.m. to midnight. And there you go. Uh, I'll show and change the armed to uh, to be um, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. But it's not perfect. Um, ideally, it would be nice if it would adjust automatically for time zones. Um, the system doesn't do that. It, that would be nice if Arlo could incorporate something like that, where it knew what the what zone you're in when it gets dark around you and then automatically switch to a different mode when it gets, you know, when it's dark out because the cameras function a lot differently when it's dark versus when it's light. Um, and we have different things that we want to record at different times. But essentially, if you needed, that's how, that's how you do it. That's how you record um, with different uh, zones in the scheduling uh, in the new Arlo system.